And we're back with more Frambo. Uh, basically, uh, if you're wondering, well, how did we end up here from the last video? Well, basically, what happened was I lost some footage. And I'm just going to quickly explain what happened in that footage that I lost. Uh, basically, what happened was uh, we were on the flying machine with uh, Itward, the skeleton man. And then um, uh, he took Mr. Midnight. Um, uh, he tricked us for a little bit, and then he took Mr. Midnight, so I was all mad at him, saying, like, why did you take him, you stupid person? Although I used different words than stupid person. And, um, we did some puzzles up on the roof, and, um, we went into the room where the two, uh, where the twin girls were, uh, you know, when you take the pills. And, uh, apparently it was a birthday party, so it totally became Alice in Wonderland Mad Tea Party seen. But when we were having our birthday cake, um, Miss uh, Itward gave us a gift, which is a cat um, with a lock in it. And um, what else happened? Oh yeah, so something attacked the, um, the machine, the flying machine. So um, he, Itward had to go fly the machine because uh, something was wrong with it. Uh, but he said that there was a camomas on the um, somewhere on the um, machine. So we had to go find it and then destroy it. So we destroyed it with water, with the watering can, and then we went up to the roof because uh, that was where the little um, fountain puzzle came in play because the monster just kept jumping from place to place and we just spray it with water and then it went away. But when we told it, we're, hey, it's all gone, he said, we're going to crash. So that's why we're in the forest here. The bike's right here, and we, we crashed. Um, and then basically, uh, Bambi, uh, he didn't see him, but there was a deer, and he was smelling us. Uh, it jumped away. So that's kind of the, the catch-up. So let's keep playing. I did it again. Continue. Well, we'll probably see a Bambi here in this one. Yeah, see? There's a Bambi. There's a deer. Oh yeah, so apparently here's something that just jumps away. It word? No. Oh. Ow. Kitty, are we alive? We survived the crash? Oh, we are alive, yeah. Oh dear, yes, we are alive. That was weird. Okay, stand up. Hmm, but it word is gone. But he brought us home. Are we outside the town? We are outside the town, friend. I can smell it. Oh, wow. Are you sure, Kitty? Are we already home? I thought you would be happier about it. What is it? It's just that I wonder where Itward is. I wish I could say goodbye. He's he's not dead. He's still there. Maybe you can take the meds and see him again. <gasps> that... Oh. <laughs> yes, Kitty, but I took all the pill... What? But I took all the pills already, you see. The bottle is empty. Wow, that bottle was empty? After all the times I took all those pills. Anyway, let's go home. Maybe it will come to me someday. Oh, Well, let's look at the bike. Edward's bike. So what do we have? We have... Okay, we still have... Excuse me. Some things. Well, let's go over here, because that seems where we can go. Oh, pleasant music. Oh my goodness, this is our street, Kitty. Hazel Street. Or Hayes Street. There's no L there's no L in that. Hayes Street. <laughs> Funny how it's called Hayes Street. Yes, it is. The cat's like, let's go. Is that our house? Oh no, Hayes Street, so we have to keep going this way. You don't wanna walk? Oh okay, we just have to click on the eye. Is that our house? And here we are. This looks much more gray than I remembered. I thought you lived somewhere near a forest. Like, that that was a forest that we were in, but, like, closer to a forest, because wasn't this all covered in blood? Well, I hope Aunt Grace- oh, it might be Aunt Grace's house, that's right. Um, will be happy to see me. Well, if she's there. She seems a little too quiet. Aunt Grace, hello? Maybe she's not home. Dear. Uh... Do you have the key to go inside? Hmm. No, I don't have it, Kitty. But I know there's a hidden key somewhere. Ah. Usually kept in, like... Just need to remember where. It's usually kept under a plant. 
Hmm, let's find it. It's usually kept under a flower pot. Hmm. Uh, nope. Can I take the one? No. Nope. More insects. I took the key, Fran. But I haven't taken the key. I didn't write that note. Hmm, let's check over here. Come here, kitty. You must climb and go through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it. That sounds very strange. I think someone's impersonating us. Yes, it is very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now in order to... What? But now in order to get inside, kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Ugh, alright then. Wish me luck. You can do it, kitty. Be careful. Spider cat. There we go. Go in the window. Are you gonna play as a cat now? Oh, that's the window to her room. Okay. Do you hear me, kitty? Open the door. <gasps> no, it's the doctor! I can't believe this. You're alive. Where were you? Yeah, get away from me. I won't go back to the asylum. Yeah, I've been looking for you a long time now. How did you escape? None of your business. Yeah, leave now, please. But why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed and went through the window on the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight, isn't that your missing cat? Yeah, I found him. <laughs> yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why you're here? Yeah. I came to meet Miss Grace, but I have something important to tell her. Is that her niece is missing? I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with- No! No! Yeah, no, I won't. Let's wait until he opens the door. <laughs> Let's wait till he opens the door. <laughs> Friend, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. No, it's not. I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He'll open the door in a minute. Stop it, Friend. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. No! Don't touch me. Don't touch me. No! Friend, kick him. Ugh. Oh, Friend. Ugh. Oh, Lord above. And then he opens the door. Okay, seriously, why didn't someone help me here? Ugh. Kill him. <laughs> Bastard. I'm sorry, Fran. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. Uh, well, a little late for that. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. He made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? It feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. Um, no, it's not that because you knew too much. It's because you were caught. You were doing weird experiments on kids. I have found things that I do not understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. What? Family murder on Hayes Street. The bodies were perfectly sliced. Martin and Lusa Bo, uh, oh, Dagen Dagenhart were found early this week. Brutally murdered in a residence on Hay Street. The investigate oh that was our house. Uh, the investigation investigating police officer Marco Huma said it seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick instantaneous death. Also, there were no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Degenhart. Lucina's twin sister. Okay, that's something interesting. But the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Fran Bo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. Oh. Okay, so apparently we're dead? Dear, dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Fran Bo. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding uh, about her parents' murder. She's now free from all pain. We hope we reunite. Wait, we're dead? I'm so confused. Oh, isn't that the nurse? Why did she get this letter? Oh, that is the nurse. It's your hand. Yeah, that's the that's the goat guy. But I'm not dead, sir. That's all lies. I see that. 
I also found out it was switched. Oh, and you didn't care about that. You were given a new variant of uh, uh, duotine. When I looked at it in the laboratory, it, it, the levels of ectopla- yeah, ecto- ectopla- ectoplamatin were too high. That can't be good. <laughs> well, it's, they're all gone now, so I'm probably messed up for life. Ectoplasmatin creates a door between the subconscious and conscious. Okay. The problem is, if the ecto ectoplasmatin something is too high, the door will be too wide. Okay. And that can create a great confusion in your brain. Uh, a great confusion in my brain? I'm a bit confused, sir. <laughs> I am a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra reality, sir, and also traveling to other worlds. Ultra reality? That must be the consequences of uh, DOT, nothing more. Ugh, adults. <laughs> that is not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. <laughs> you don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say? Then maybe I. Then I may be able to control it. Yeah, she could probably control it now. I mean that you are imagining things, that's all. <gasps> Whoa. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. What? I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. Oh, did your father harm you with his knife, doctor? What? Who told you that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it, so then it's true. Oh my goodness, then it's true. Oh please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who's behind all this. The nurses, Oswald, who knows? I don't know, sir. It's the big black monster, Rimmore. He took my parents, and now he haunts me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I stayed in Ithersia with Pal and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? Please, friend, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itward or Pal, and my kitty is all, is all alone. Pal, Itward, please, friend. Okay, seriously, you could just knock him out and get out of the car. Undo your seatbelt and open the door. <laughs> Pal is the doctor of Ither Itherstia. He is a flying creature, very fluffy, sir. <laughs> And Edward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his medicine. Oh, machine. Sorry, not medicine. It seems you have been living inside a fairy tale. <laughs> that, that wasn't a fairy tale. It wasn't a good time. It wasn't good at all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw my mother and father, too. <laughs> She's just telling him everything. Like, that's kind of not good. The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say. That reminds me of Clara and- <gasps> Oh, he knows about Cly Clara and Maya. Or Mia. Two girls in the asylum that claim to see a creature named Edward. It's Itward, you jerk. Edward, I think you're misunderstanding, sir. It it's Itward. But what happened to these girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. Oh, okay, so that's not you? I'm so confused. He sewed them together. Okay. Mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died, and their bodies were thrown into a well. <gasps> oh, that is awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you. I brought you with me, so you can help me. With what? Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all of this disgrace. It's the, obviously it's the doctor, not you, but the other one, or it could be you too. Thank you, Doctor. Maybe Pal was right about you. You're not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Oh, wow. Okay, so he's not that bad. Okay. Following the rules. Well, not tonight. Okay. Okay. I feel okay here. Oh, and of course, time's almost out. Cemetery? Alright, so definitely in the next video we're going to figure out why Dr. Here brought us to a cemetery. And, uh, oh, there's a the phone. So, do stay tuned. This is Puzzle Pieces. Ugh, shut that phone. Signing off.